Well, hey guys, I'm here with another Timu haul. I know, I know what you're thinking. Janine, you have a problem. You would not be wrong. I do. My husband and I have gotten quite addicted to Timu. Um, just being able to find items that we have wanted or needed for a while. Um, and truly mostly just wanted. Uh, but at prices that we find more affordable, making the products more accessible to us. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, there's going to be some more sporting good stuff in this haul. And I include it because, you know, guys like to check products out before they buy them too. So I thought that might be useful to be able to see some of these products if you wonder what kind of quality they are or if they really are as they look appear to be on the Timu website because I have found that some things are not. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So my husband um, is needing to regrip um, some of his clubs so he decided to take a leap and order these grips um, as well as this is a, a device that telescopes out to be able to set the balls if you hit your golf ball into a pond, um, you can use a device like this to retrieve it, or into a pond, into a water hazard on a golf course, would be the more correct and accurate analogy. I couldn't tell you if this is great quality or not. It is, uh, haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I mean, it appears to be. It telescopes out like it's supposed to. That gives you the reach you need. And it feels it feels fairly well made. It feels sturdy. And then these are the grips. And again, I couldn't really tell you about the quality of them. But I've seen him buy other grips um, to replace on golf clubs. And it to me, they feel about the same as what I've seen him buy in the past. So I think he'll be pleased with that. And this is going to be another one of those kind of all over the place um, hauls with a, a lot of different things. So these are some more um, target practice. It's a roll of stickers. Um, once you've used, uh, uh, my husband explained this to me. So once you have used um, some targets, because so, he did get some more targets. So, uh, you know, once you fill it up with holes, then you can use these stickers to cover the holes and continue to use the target for a longer period of time, which gets more mileage out of it. So that leads to the next product. He did get some more targets. And again, that's what these stickers are for, too. You can help cover the holes and then reuse the target again and again for as long as it holds up. So that's a good thing. Um, and I got some more crafting stuff. Actually, I got quite a bit of crafting stuff. So let's go through this. Trying to get it all out of this bag. Okay, so I saw this tea ruler. Um, and what I liked about it, well, there was a number of things I liked about it, but two big things was, number one, the size. I like that it's smaller, and that's one thing I really didn't have in my stash was a smaller ruler. And then I like that it has, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that clearly. Let me bring it up closer where you can see. So it has, uh, it shows you what the key is. So there are A2 standard uh, measurements on here. And then you can look, uh, oh, and mini slim line, uh, slim line. And so you can look at the, See, 4B, A2, and that gives you the kind of those quick instant measurements for that. Uh, but what the other thing that I really liked about it, uh, why I got it, because rather than just having the, the little hash marks for, or just the little marks for, you know, the sixteenths of an inch, it actually says, you know, three-eighths, five-sixteenths, a quarter. So it makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier um, when using it. And I think it has a protective film on it. I found that this stuff that comes with a protective film from Timu is no joke. It can be a little hard to get off. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, so I was actually pretty excited about this. Uh, it'd be easier to store on my desktop for quick access as well. Mm, 
Let's zoom you in just a little bit. There we go. I think that's a little better. Okay, so these are um, supposed to look like little water drop beads for putting card making, paper crafting, whatever. Uh, and supposedly this is... Oh, I don't even remember now. I think it was supposed to be 300 or so. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like that to me, but I know that there can be a whole lot of small things in a package and not look like there's that many. Uh, but let me try pull one out and look at it. So I was curious if it was flat backed enough to really be able to use on a card. Oh, it is. It almost looks like it doesn't have a flat back just the way it looks, but it really does have a nice flat back. So those would be cute on cards. Little water drop looking beads. Embellishments. And this was... One of those I was going to take a shot and see if it would work for paper crafting. This is nail striping tape. So when you're getting a manicure and you want some fancy little stripes. These looked so much bigger in the picture. But I like that it came with such a large variety of colors. I think there's 10 all together in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten total. And I thought it would be nice to create little stripes on cards, but I don't know. These are awfully small. Um, it, again, it's it much smaller than I was expecting it to be, so I don't know that it would be very useful for what I was intending it for. But I, I think it was like a, a dollar something, two dollars. Not so expensive that it wasn't worth trying. Trying, having a hard time getting it started here. Not off to a great start at this point. There we go. Yeah, that might be hard to put on a card. We'll see. And here I go again, dipping into the beauty community for crafting supplies. Okay, and they had these... Uh, background dies that I thought were an exceptionally good deal. I, I think the most expensive one, expensive one was $3 and some change. <coughs> and this was something that I did lack in my stash. I don't have any background dies. So I thought it'd be nice to get started on that. Um, this is cute. It's a lattice work with hearts in it. That's kind of a weeping willow tree there. Um, this one is uh, kind of a quilting look to it. Uh, with stitched lines. This one looks like uh, kind of a park bench. There's a little fence back there, trees. And I think this might be supposed to look like ornaments, but I just thought they were really neat. I mean, I guess they do kind of look like ornaments. I thought that'd be cute for uh, paper crafting. And I could see stuff like this. And that's why I got this holographic paper. I thought something like this with this type of paper behind it um, would be pretty. And you see this is really quite thin. But again, matted on some cardstock, I thought it would look good. Uh, or be sturdy enough. But yeah, see that, that I think is going to be really pretty. Um, doing something like that. And then this came with a number of different colors. So, a lot to play around with there. There's some hot pink on that side. And there's a number of sheets. And I'm so sorry, I just don't remember the exact number of sheets. But I will do my best to link everything below so that you can check it out. But, nice color selection. And, my gosh, what a stunning visual um, rep or a presentation it gives. So, I like that. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with that. Especially doing um, card making for the holidays. And then the last one is just kind of, um, again, just some dotted, stitched-like lines. Uh, just thought it'd be fun to start playing with background dyes and see if I like it or not. And then, Timu is so good for this, recommending things to you as you're checking out. Like, hey, did you look at this product? 
And again, this was something I could see cutting out of that um, holographic paper. You could cut all these little, but anyway, they're just little ornaments. Aren't they the cutest things? I thought these would make some really sweet, really cute embellishments on some holiday cards. They were so cute. Yeah, I could see uh, cutting these out of, you know, a few sheets of this holographic paper and making some really cute embellishments on cards. And then this, okay, probably TMI and a little bit gross, but in this family, we all suffer just a little bit with uh, ingrown toenails. Uh, it's odd, but yes, we are a family full of people that suffer with this, and I saw this on T-Moon. It's supposed to help lift out the corners of ingrown toenails. My husband looked at this. He said, that looks like a torture device. I don't know if I'm going to use that. I said, well, I guess I'll be the guinea pig. I'll probably be the first one to try it. It, it To me, what it looks like is complicated and difficult to apply. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. I don't know. I'm going to get on the internet and see if I can find some directions on how to use it. Because as you can tell, none of this stuff really comes with any sort of directions. We'll see. If it helps. I'll have to come back and give y'all some reviews on some of this stuff. It's one of those things that's hard to give a review on in a video like this. And I, I've been trying some makeup items from Timu. So let me tell you, and I'm sorry, I... I don't even have some of those products still to be able to show you. But this is some uh, matte uh, lipstick. And it cam comes with a coordinating lip pencil, which you can see is really quite small. Not much lip pencil there. So I'm curious about how much product is in here. So anyway, the um, my experience with... I'm sorry, this was shade number 10. My experience with their makeup um, so far has been hit and miss. I can tell you right now, so far I have not liked any of the uh, face products, foundation products. That went on fairly easy. Um, I've thrown every one of them away. They don't set. They're sheer. They don't give any coverage. Um, they feel greasy on my face. Um, you know, just not... I have not had... Good experience with a single face product from Timu yet. Uh, but their eyeshadows have been really good. I got I have gotten a couple of eyeshadow palettes from them, and they're gorgeous. And the color payoff is good. The um, wear time is good. Really good experience with the eyeshadow palettes. I've tried some of their uh, eyeliners. Again, that's been kind of hit and miss. Uh, they don't really stay put all that well. They kind of slide around. So when I use those eyeliners, I have, generally have to set them with a, a eyeshadow that matches a black or a brown or whatever the case might be. And I'm sorry, I can not tell you what shade number that was. And this one is shade 9. And you can tell I have a certain color story that I kind of like that I lean to because these really aren't terribly different but we'll see again let me know in the um, comments below if this is something you'd like to see uh, a review on at a later later time now, there's still more to go I got a little crazy so my stepdaughter and I were looking at Timu together and she saw this sweater and she really liked it so I went ahead and got it for her as a Christmas present wipe this lipstick off so that I don't get it on this sweater and it is really really cute it's a hoodie oops I am so sorry yeah I thought it was really pretty and I could see her wearing it it looks like her so it's kind of thin honestly but that's not a bad thing because she does run a little hot but I can tell you as thin as it is, she's probably going to have to wear a tank top or something under it um, to feel comfortable in it. Uh, but it is super cute. The quality is okay. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's off the charts wonderful, but it's it's okay. Uh, for the price, I think it was $12 or 
it's not bad. Oh, and I got another one of those binders for uh, dies now that my die collection is really starting to grow. So it's just like this, and I got the same kind of inserts, just the one pocket inserts. Um, so I got a, uh, 15 more of these uh, pockets to go with it. Because I really have liked these little binders. They're just right for holding a sets of die, uh, you know, a bunch of dies. And this is a shame on me. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes I don't read or pay attention that well when I'm shopping on Timu. But this is pillow covers. Of course, in my mind, when I saw them, I saw pillows. Because that's what they show you is pictures of pillows. So why I thought I was getting a set of fall pillows is beyond me. Oh, I'm sorry. This one's a table runner. Okay. Yes. I have a very long table, so I got a very long table runner, but I thought it was really cute, and I'm fixing to put out all my fall decorations, and I thought this would go really nice with it. But I did get these pillow covers. <laughs> Again, did not read. When I, I went back and looked at my order, and sure enough, it says, plain as day, pillow covers. But in my mind, I thought I was getting a set of pillows. <laughs> you just have to laugh about it. So it's an odd fabric. It's almost a burlap feeling fabric. It's kind of strange, but look how cute. But I do have some spare pillows, but I did see some other, I mean, I do have some stuffing, but it would take a lot of stuffing to um, stuff four of these. Uh, I did see uh, some suggestions um, on Facebook, people using uh, plastic bags, like grocery bags, uh, to stuff these with. But I do think I have some pillows I can put in here. Uh, but they were so cute. And again, I just thought they would go really sweet with the other fall decorations I'm fixing to put out. So, Oh, good. They just, I thought, wait, did they give me two of the exact same thing? They're not. So thankful, grateful, blessed, home, sweet home. So they are a little different. Isn't that just precious? And I thought they went really well with this. So I can't wait to get everything decorated with my fall stuff. I'm ready to put all the spring and summer stuff away and because I don't change for spring and uh, summer. I don't change it. It's just the same decorations stay up for the whole season. And I did order two of these but only one has come in. Some shoe racks. So you, uh, it's got all the pieces and parts. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. So that does have to be put together. I'm having a hard time getting out of the box. It's odd. There we go. It's, so it's, it has to be put together. But my husband and I both have a runaway shoe problem. Our shoes are everywhere. So we were hoping this would help us uh, to get our shoes organized. So let me show you the picture here. And we're almost done. Oh, another background die. This one has a church in the background. I thought that was really sweet. Oh, and this was some cute little stickers. And there's the pockets for the uh, die storage binder. But uh, this was another one of those suggested add-ons. And I'm such a sucker for those. But I thought they would be cute stickers for encouraging cards because they're uh, kind of Bible-based. Uh, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, uh, I Am a Child of God. Uh, so I just thought these would be really cute um, to go put on some encouraging cards. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of our Timu hauls. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you uh, have any questions about any of the products or um, how we're liking them so far, please just leave me a comment below and ask those questions, and I'll do my best to get to it. So thank you again for watching. You guys be blessed. Bye now.